So from here on out, everything is going to be dedicated towards preparing the API for the React front end. So if you're not interested in the React portion of this course, you can go ahead and drop off from here. So we need to do a couple of things to make sure that our app demos correctly for when employers look at our portfolio. And we need to understand a couple of things. What's going to happen if a user tries to add a stock to a portfolio or comment on a stock that doesn't actually exist in real life? Or what if the stock record doesn't exist at all? This is going to lead us towards foreign key issues. And there's many ways that we could add these symbols or add these stocks to the database. The first one is that we could run an SQL script that would add every single stock to the database, but that's going to be very cumbersome and very error prone. The best choice is to just get the data from an API. And the way that we're going to handle this is we're going to use financial modeling prep. Financial modeling prep has been gracious enough to give us the data to seed for our API. It's free and you only need a key, but the catch is that this data that you store can only be for demo and personal uses only. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make a service that will quickly find a stock from financial modeling prep, convert it into a stock model so that if we ever come across a scenario where we either need to create a stock or the stock doesn't actually exist, we can just quickly get the data from financial modeling prep seeded into our database and we won't have any of these foreign key and relationship issues. So let's go ahead, let's hop over into VS Code and let's code it up. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a service. And the first thing that we do when we create a service is we create an interface. So I'm going to go to here, I'm going to create a brand new interface. I'm going to call this I financial modeling prep service, short FMP. Within this interface, we're going to return a task. It's going to be of type stock and we're going to call this find by find stock by symbol async a sync and we are going to pass in a string called symbol all right now what we need to do is we need to actually create the concrete service i'm going to call this fmp service all right and of course we need to go ahead we need to implement our interface and bring in the method so when this service starts up we're going to need the http client and i am just going to use regular HTTP. You could use HTTP client factory, but this is a very small use case. And I don't think we need to go ahead and bring out the whole entire factory. We can just use the concrete version. And we're also going to bring in the configuration because we're going to need to store the key in our app.settings JSON file. So we have both of those. Now what we need to do is we need to private and bring in the actual HTTP client. And also we need to bring in the interface for I configuration. And let's see, we'll just call this underscore config. And then of course we're going to bring them in. So HTTP underscore HTTP client is equal to HTTP client. And also config is equal to config. So we're going to wrap this in a try catch because it's going off to the internet. And when things go off to the internet, anything could happen. So we're going to wrap it in a try catch. And here's where, here's where the magic is going to happen. We're going to use var result, And within our result, we're going to have an await of HTTP client and we are going to get a sync. So what we're gonna pass into here is actually the URL. We're going to use a template literal and what you want to do is you want to go to financialmodelingprep.com. So financial modeling prep looks like this. And the actual API endpoint that we're going to be using is this one right here. So go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So go ahead and uh, copy that. And then what you want to do is go ahead, paste it inside of your Git async. We're going to change the Apple to symbol. Make sure that you get the symbol or else it's going to store everything as Apple. And then we're going to store the con then we're going to add the config like this. So we're going to here, we're going to add the same brackets as we had before. I'm going to go ahead and put a semicolon right here. And this is where we're going to put config. And we're going to 
use array destructuring to reach into it just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure to close it out on the end as well too. And if you did everything correctly, you should get no squiggly marks and it should look okay. Also, before we forget, let's go ahead and add our key to our app settings, Jason. So you want to go, it doesn't really matter, uh, matter where you add it. You want to go to uh, anywhere in your app settings.json. We're going to call this FMP key. And then you're going to have a key value pair. Then go ahead, post your key inside of there. And whenever you sign up for a financial modeling prep, they give you a key. So that's the key that you're looking for. Go ahead, paste it within the FMP key part right here. But I can't show you mine because I have the premium service. So now that we have that, we're going to test if it's actually returned. So I'm going to say if result is success status code, then we're going to put our code in here. So the content is going to be returned in the form of uh, a, basically a giant string. And then what we want to do is we're going to use JSON convert, or you could use Newton soft in order to convert it back into an object or not back into, but to convert it into an object. So we'll have tasks right here and they call it tasks for some reason you could call it something else but i'm going to call it tasks seems kind of appropriate then we're going to go json convert it'll go ahead bring it in we're going to deserialize the object and the type that we're going to turn this is where you have to put the type that you're going to turn it into and i'm going to turn it into type fmp stock go ahead turn it into an array and we'll pass in our content right here so FMP stock does not exist because we have to create it. And in order to create the type for this AP endpoint, I'll show you what to do. So all that you do is you take the whole entire JSON right here and you paste it into a tool called POCO to JSON. I think that's what it's called, but I'll show you what it looks like. So if you type in POCO JSON to POCO, you are brought to a tool that looks like this. Go ahead, paste your tool into there convert it into C sharp and you will get something that looks like this. Go ahead, copy the whole entire thing, or you can use the link down below. I'll go ahead and leave a link to the whole entire file. If you want to, if you just want to copy it from my GitHub and then just take this, either one of those, just take either one and then go into the actual POCO that you made and just go ahead, paste it over just like that. And you'll be good to go. Then go ahead, bring it in. So now that we've got our object back, we need to, first of all, we need to grab the very first one because financial modeling prep returns things as an array. So you'll have to reach in and grab that first stock out of the array. Otherwise it's going to return an array and mess everything up. And we just want the actual stock model or in the form of a stock, which we're about to do here in a second. So we're gonna go down. And if the stock is not null, here's where we're going to return it. So we're going to return a stock and we're going to map this from the financial modeling prep object to a stock that resembles uh, a model in our database. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to go within the mapper. So we need to map it over. This is a stock mapper. And we could go ahead and just copy this one right here. There's no reason to type out the whole entire thing. And we're going to convert it from a stock to to stock from financial modeling prep and we're going to put into it a financial modeling prep stock and we'll just we're going to also just name this uh fmp stock for clarity we'll go ahead go ahead turn these over into fmp stocks just like this and instead of dotting into it with a capital everything that's returned from fmp stock is in a lowercase so we can just flip them or we can just convert them over into the lowercase and we'll say company name go ahead put in the company name and this needs to be a decimal so we will use an explicit conversion so we'll explicitly tell the compiler that this is probably a number or an int but we need to convert it into a decimal and then we're going to do the ex the exact same thing with the uh, dividends so we're going to say convert it over into a decimal and this is pretty common to do uh, it doesn't look the best, but it is something that pe you know people have to do on a daily basis or you have to do all of the time. So I'm going to go into here. I'm going to say industry. I'm going to go into, go into here, and then I'm going to give it the market cap. So now that we've got an actual mapper, we can turn our FMP model into uh, a stock from FMP just like that.
And lastly, if it is null, that means we didn't get anything back from the database. So we're going to return null. And also for the catch, this would probably be more appropriate if you had some type of logging system, but we don't really have a logging system. So we'll go ahead and just do a console write line and that'll get us through until we can get some decent data in here. And also we need to go down here. We need to have a, another return null. So if it is not a successful status code, we also need to return null as well. And now what we need to do is we need to go into our program.cs and we need to wire up all the dependency injection for our service and the HTTP uh, client. So I'm gonna go into here. I'm going to say I FMP service. We got FMP service. We're gonna turn this into FMP service. And then here we're gonna go down here and this is where we're gonna add the HTTP client. So I'm gonna go builder services. So build, so I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go builder dot services i'm going to say add http client hopefully it'll show up yep here we go and this is where we can also toss in our ifmp service so i'm going to go ifmp service and i'm going to say fmp service looking good we are good to go so obviously we only want to see the stock data if we have to so within the comment and the portfolio controller we are going to check our local database if the stock already exists, go straight to create the comment in the portfolio. But if the stock does not exist, and if it exists within financial modeling prep, seed the data, then create the comment in the portfolio so that the association exists and we don't get the foreign key problems that I was talking about beforehand. So let's go ahead, let's hop inside VS Code, let's make it happen. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to have to change this to create it by the symbol. If we don't create it by the symbol, then there's no other way that we could actually create it because there's no ID to actually tie it to. So we're going to change this to symbol. We're going to get rid of this. So we are just going to check for the actual stock instead of checking whether it exists. And we're just going to try to get the whole entire thing from the database. We're going to use the stock repo. And we are going to get symbol by async and we are going to go ahead you guessed it pass our symbol into here next thing here's where we're going to do our if check so if stock is equal to null this means that it is not within our database our local database so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down we're going to call on our stock again and this is where we're going to try to populate it with the fmp service and i actually need to go up here we're going to go ahead and bring in our fmp service so go down here I FMP service is equal to FMP service. Okay, then also bringing in up here the private read only is equal to I FMP service. And go ahead, underscore FMP service. Then we're going to go down here. We're going to do the same thing that we always do. So FMP service is equal to FMP service. We can now finally bring it in. And we're going to go back down to our create where we can go ahead, draw upon it and try to find our stock symbol. So find stock symbol async and this is where we'll pass in the symbol. And we'll say if this stock is equal to null, this is when it's a bad request. This is when it means that the stock does not exist. And we're gonna go return, we're gonna say bad request and we'll say this stock uh we'll say this st stock does not exist just like this and then if the stock does exist this is where we're going to save it and we'll just go ahead and toss it within the database just a nifty little stock repo we'll go create async and we'll go ahead just toss our stock in here and it'll go ahead and save it for us so that we have something to kind of use and then instead of then having the stock id this is where we'll have the stock dot id so we'll say stock dot id so stock dot id just like this and then we'll create the comment from there tack on the app user just like this and we'll have a comment for the stock that we want to so let's go ahead we can actually copy and paste this whole entire thing this is going to be very similar for our portfolio controller so i'm going to go into the portfolio controller I'm going to do the exact same thing, except this one's even going to be easier. So right underneath the stock, we can just copy and paste this code that we wrote 
within the comment controller. So I'm going to go up to here. We also need to make sure we bring in the uh, FMP service. So we're going to go FMP service, FMP service. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing. So private read only is equal to I FMP service is equal to FMP service. Looking good. And then also we need to bring it in down here. So FMP service is equal to FMP service. Okay, so we can finally use it. So let's go back down to our create. And that looks good. Also, we want to make sure that if the stock is returned null, we're going to return stock not found. Also, making sure that we're getting the user, user portfolio. And this should handle it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, .NET, watch run, and we're going to go ahead and test all of this. So first things first, go ahead, make sure that you're logged in, make sure that you have your token within your authorized, and let's see which stocks that we have so that we can find the ones that we don't have. And we've got all of the usual suspects. Let's try adding a comment with MasterCard. MasterCard symbol is MA. Uh, MA is not in our portfolio, so let's go ahead and let's try it out. So go ahead, add this, and we've got success. And let's see if it went ahead and created the MA, the MasterCard stock. And let's see. Yep, it populated the MasterCard stock and it also put in some juicy data for us. All right, that looks good. So let's try to add it again to make sure that the logic is working. Cannot add the same stock to the portfolio. That looks good. So next thing, let's go ahead and let's test a comment. So I'm going to go to the comment and I'm going to try to add a symbol for O and I'm going to say O symbol. And for the comment, I'm going to type in O symbol, just like this. And we get a, we get, we get a created and let's go down to our stock and let's make sure that it actually created it. So I'm going to go down here. Um, let's see. And we've got O and we also have our comment as well too. And let's go ahead. Let's try to add another comment and let's give it this too, so that it doesn't try to create a new one or do something funky that we don't want. So we went ahead, it went ahead and created it. Let's go down, let's test it. And would you look at that? We have our O symbol too. We are all good to go. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.